This is a LEGO spring-loaded shooter. You load it up and push down on the back to launch it. And something I've always wanted to try with these was to stack a bunch of them together and launch them all at once. Okay, but that was only five and it looks super lame. So recently, my friend Garrett and I decided to try this with a hundred spring-loaded shooters to make the ultimate spring-loaded tower. I don't think this is gonna hold. But after several attempts and hours of building, the tower was either unable to stand up or it just crumbled to pieces. And the ultimate spring-loaded tower turned out to be a complete failure. But I'm determined to make this tower work. So based on previous attempts, I clearly needed a better building plan if I was to succeed. Because this challenge is a very specific criteria. Number one, it must hold 100 spring-loaded shooters. Number two, it has to stand up on its own. And number three, the tower must launch all 100 missiles in one go by dropping some sort of weight on the back. So after some intense research, I found that triangle structures provide towers with a lot of support. So I decided to implement that into the last tower design Garrett and I came up with. Now that I have a plan, it's time to get building. I started off by making several stacks of spring-loaded shooters placed between Technic bricks. I then combined these to make two large towers that each held 50 spring-loaded shooters. I swapped the bottom brick to offset the two stacks and connected them together with 4x4 plates to make one large tower. And just like that, we finished the basic structure of the tower. And because it held 100 spring-loaded shooters, that meant the first piece of criteria was complete. But this next step is going to be a little nerve-wracking. Okay. The tower was technically able to stand, but it was so wobbly. I'm not even gonna breathe on it. But this is where my research from earlier would pay off. Now I'm gonna use these beams to make a triangle-like support for this tower. I used blue pins to connect them together, making two massive support beams. And I attached each of their ends to a separate base plate. However, I still needed a way to attach them to the tower. Fortunately, I planned ahead for this. The reason I used 4x4 plates to hold the tower together was so I could use the protruding studs to attach these Technic bricks to either side. I followed that up by attaching these connectors that would hold the supports at an angle. That already feels more stable. However, the base plates attached to the support beams kept shifting around, not to mention... It's still quite wobbly down here. So I connected the base plates together to keep them from shifting, and added not one, but two additional points of support to stabilize the middle of the tower. Alright, I think it's done. And just like that, the second piece of criteria was met. This tower stood over 3 feet tall, held 100 spring-loaded shooters, and was reinforced with a triangular support structure. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. And for good measure, I gave the tower an operator. All that was left to do was fire all the missiles in one go, and the challenge would be complete. We're gonna be dropping this five pound dumbbell behind the tower to fire them off. Should be heavy enough. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Well, that didn't exactly go as planned. After watching my work of art get absolutely obliterated, I quickly realized what the problem was. These supports on the sides are great. However, they only prevent the tower from falling side to side. We don't have anything to prevent the tower from falling forwards or backwards. So I extended the parts of the base to connect one support segment to the front and another one on the back. This should be good now. Let's give it a go. Three, two, one. That time, nearly all the missiles fired off, and the lower half of the tower stayed perfectly intact. It seems to be this middle section that just is not sturdy enough. I just attached another support towards the top of the tower, and an additional one in the middle. Now it makes this cool X shape. Aside from the top bit falling off, the rest of the tower remained perfectly intact for the next several attempts. I'm not gonna lie, this is getting really tedious to load every single time. I began to think the five pound dumba was a bit too heavy, but for now, I just went along with it and I kinda cheated by holding the tower in place on the next attempt. And with the exception of the operator, the tower held up great. But it still wasn't firing all the spring-loaded shooters, so I built this little guide to make sure I was dropping the dumbbell perfectly straight every time. Now I just have to line it up and drop it. Okay, that was the best one yet. The tower didn't take any damage, and it launched almost all the missiles. Let's load it up and give it another go. So, as I suspected, the five pound dumbbell was clearly too heavy. I've absolutely had it with this, we are finding a new weight. And it's destroying my base plates. Now I was right back to where I started. If this was going to work, I clearly needed a lighter weight. So as a man of class, I used a 501st battle pack instead. It's not even a pound. And to my surprise, 
Although there were a lot of misfires, it managed to hit all the spring-loaded shooters. We are getting somewhere. But after a few more attempts, this sadly just turned out to be a false hope. I'm starting to get a little irritated if I'm being honest. Whenever I drop it, it'll hit the first few and then just miss the rest. I would have to find a more creative solution to solve this problem. So I picked up some of that poster board you use for your fourth grade science fair project and built a shaft that would help guide the box in a straight line every time. This ought to do the trick. But something still wasn't right. Wow, it didn't even make it halfway that time. I tried making the box lighter by dumping out all the parts, and I finally had a breakthrough. Three, two, one. Oh, that was so close. There were only two misfires and a few left on the very bottom. And as for the following attempt, I think the tower was just taunting me at this point. Just two left, why? What are you, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Every time I've lightened the weight, we get closer to launching all the missiles. So I cut down the box to make it even lighter. Bro, what? What? Are you kidding me, bro? By this point, I was pretty frustrated and burnt out. I really thought the tower would have worked by now. I was not expecting to have to make all these revisions to it. Clearly, I need a new plan because this is not working. I especially needed a solution to prevent those pesky misfires. And looking back on all the previous attempts, I slowly began to realize what was causing them. I think what's happening is the weight is too heavy, so when it hits the back of the missile, it gets stuck. Which means we need a weight even lighter than this box, and something to make it fall straight. And while using the cardboard sleeve was good conceptually for that, it wasn't as precise or as consistent as I would have liked. So I decided to recreate it using LEGO itself. I picked up a bunch of these classic space mission sets that came with 1700 pieces each. I only needed bricks, so I took some time to separate them out from the rest of the parts. I love me some golden frogs. Okay. Got them sorted, let's put them to some good use. This is a portion of the tower, and in order to hit all the missiles and prevent them from misfiring, I used the bricks I had just bought to build the structure that will guide the weight as it falls. It's got an opening so I can place it directly behind the tower and cover up the backs of the missiles. As for the new weight, I decided to just use other parts from the set, but I made sure they had round corners so they wouldn't get caught on the edges of the bricks. Now that I look at it, I think it's missing something. Perfection. And just to be sure, I did a small scale test. Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. All I have to do is make it as tall as the full tower. I'm just gonna swap out this base plate real quick. As I made progress towards the top of the tower, this new design was already looking a lot more promising. All right, people, final stretch. And now that it's complete, there's only one thing left to do. I'm so nervous right now. Three, two, one. What? Okay, so before you lose all faith in me, I made some adjustments to the weight, and I took out the bricks on the side so there's even less friction. Three, two, one. Yes! Finally! Woo! It actually worked! Let's go! That was so satisfying! Yes! And now that this challenge is complete, I don't ever want to launch another spring-loaded shooter again.